Tim Cruz from Cruise Reviews. I just want to give you a little bit of advice about photography on the cruise ship. Now, Royal Caribbean does a fabulous job with their photographers and their backdrops. I don't know if this is changing now. I'm hoping it's not because it's really the best way. If you ever want to take press photos or publicity photos or just family photos, it's fabulous how they set up multiple stations all over the, the ship, really usually on your way to the dining room or in the main promenade where you can take pictures of yourself as a couple, you could do individual shots and then you can buy the entire package at the end of the cruise. So you can take as many pictures as you want and buy them all complete with licensing to use them commercially. This is a great deal. And I've always loved this about Royal Caribbean um, celebrity supposedly did something like this, but I didn't see it on the edge. But again, we just started cruising again. So I'm not sure how that's going to pan out or if celebrity even does that. They are sister companies. But Royal Caribbean, they have these great backdrops and just about any kind of background you could think of. They have uh, they have a chroma key green screen. We'll put a picture of a ship behind you. They have white backdrops, um, black backdrops, all professionally lit with excellent cameras and very, very good photographers. I'm rolling through some of the pictures we've taken on a, a, a past Royal Caribbean cruise. Now, there is another way that they kind of rope you. And this is like the biggest ripoff on Royal Caribbean. It's really the only thing I have a problem with on Royal Caribbean. They've been fabulous, excellent service, excellent cruises, beautiful ships. But this studio is the biggest ripoff I have ever seen in my entire life. Let me tell you why. So they rope you into this thing. You're like, oh, do you know we have a private photographer who will take you around the ship and put you in our studio? We just did this on Celebrity. And, um, I'll just tell you what happened. The first time we did it with our family, we brought our family and had all the kids with us. Last time we had all the kids with us on a cruise, went into this studio, had this fabulous session, took beautiful pictures. And what they don't tell you up front is how much these pictures cost. And I'm going to tell you right now, they average about a hundred dollars per picture. I'm going to repeat that for those sitting in the cheap seats, a hundred dollars per and up per picture, if you get a smaller package, it can go down a little bit if you buy this huge package for thousands of dollars. But I want to tell you, I wasn't impressed with the quality of these pictures. I thought the photographers who were on the main promenade taking the pictures of everybody on these big screens, like knocking out a million a minute, did a better job than these photographers did in the studio. I'm going to show you the pictures I got on Celebrity. These were terrible. And they told us they were going to Photoshop them. And I think they look worse after she did whatever she did to them. And uh, it was just, I was very, very, we paid $500 for five pictures. We were going to use them for updated press and publicity photos, but I, they, none of them, are, none of these are usable. I'm going to show you little pieces. I want to show you all of them because they're so bad. But if you see this thing and they offer a private photographer, don't do it. I don't think it's a great idea. I think you're going to be as disappointed as we are. Now we did actually on the Royal Caribbean ship on Oasis of the Seas, we got some great pictures of the kids, maybe three or four. But when we saw the price, he told us we had to buy the whole package and it was like three or five thousand dollars or some obscene number for like 10 pictures. And I'm like, we can't, we can't. It's just ridiculous. So yes, use the regular photographers that you see on the main decks when you go to dinner and you've got the backdrops. Absolutely. Totally recommend those. You're going to get great pictures and you can buy the whole package. You can buy every picture digitally at the end of the cruise, which is awesome. It's usually pretty reasonably priced. I think it's under $300. It might be a little bit more now, but for the private sitting, don't do it. Don't waste your time. And they won't tell you up front. They never tell you. I must try to press them. Say, how much does this cost? Oh, it's going to be affordable. Don't worry about it. They are instructed not to tell you the price until you sit down and review the pictures at the end because they're so obscenely priced and I will never, they don't bargain either. There's no deals. There's no specials, but I will never ever do this again on a Royal Caribbean or a celebrity ship. Hey, I want to, I'm here to tell you the truth. So you don't fall into these traps like I did. Tim Cruz for Cruise Reviews. Thanks for watching. Hey, please like subscribe and comment too. That helps us out a bunch too. I'm not leaving my wingman. My long lost cousin, Tim Cruz is the ultimate reviewer. Woo! <laughs> Please watch Cruise Reviews with Tim Cruz. Now, Tim feels the need. The need for speed! <laughs> well, not so much speed. We're on a cruise, but he completes me. Cruise Reviews. There is no substitute.